One thing I for sure want to do with my life is travel the world. Bicycling around the U.S. with my friends seems like the way to start. So far, we've ridden through rural country and rested at churches up through the southeast. We got whipped into shape as we traversed north through the Blue Ridge Mountains. Then, we hopped on the Great American Rail Trail, which is now taking us across the Midwest. There have been ups and downs along the way, but we are determined to complete the trek. In our last video, we made it through Illinois and into Iowa, where we were welcomed into a hospitable family's home. After some rest, we are now back on the trail. So we zeroed at a warm showers, a really nice warm showers house. Shout out to Paula, Jeff, Ryan, and Brayden. That was the family, the two sons and the couple who hosted us. Shout out to them. We're on a really nice Iowa bike trail right now, like in Salone. Whoa, whoa, three abreast. No, no. On the curve. I think he's about to go X Games mode. Please don't get hurt and ruin the trip, bro. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Get on, boy. Welcome to Stupidville. <laughs> We're out here in the middle of Iowa. I think we're going towards Marshall, Marshallville or something? Marshalltown, taking the bat play. It's pretty cool, nice and hilly. It's beautiful. Whoa, what are you doing on the wrong side of the road? He does what he wants. Caleb's a free elf out here. He doesn't give a shit. Christian likes to think he's a free elf, but... I'm a free elf. Well, I know Solo came twice out here. Chevy. Chevy. What's up, Chevy? You're not so scary after all. You were scary at first, I ain't gonna lie, but then you reminded me of Bella. It was a little scary. Like, you fucking running at you, boy. You scared the shit out of you. What do them cows want? Look at, <laughs> Look at the little one, too. <laughs> oh, Danny, he's trying to get your oatmeal cream pies, bro. We're somewhere in Iowa, in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Get up there, Danny. Get on up there. We're gonna take a piss break real quick, watching the sunset. Gravel roads. Iowa rolling hills. Look at that sunset. My bike taking a break on me. Pushing it too hard. Oh shit. Heavy ass bitch. Gravel adventures in Iowa. We could have taken the main road, it would have been faster, but it looked like it had some traffic on it. Oh, I need to go catch up some. This some draft. Come on, Danny. Get muddy. I ain't even get muddy. Whoa, well, like the heart of Iowa trot thicknesses. I'm clipped in. Ready to go. Think you come to the bridge? Mm. Danny said it too, so we Okay, if oh my god, horse poop. But yeah, if y'all outvoted me, I guess we might take a nap at the bridge if that's what y'all vote for. You know, that's a good thing about a three-man group. You can just make a decision, you know, outvote each other. Ow! 
Sometimes you can come into roadblocks, but you just gotta find your way around, right, Danny? So about you're not stopping it. How you doing, fellow traveler? Where are you coming from? Look at you. Let's get it on and get. Is it clear? Dang, I might want to go swimming today. Over 2,000 miles in, still haven't gone swimming. What kind of trip is this? So Iowa has had some pretty nice bike trails lately. I mean, the last one was pretty gravelly. We're enjoying the somewhat last last part of flats that we expect for a while. Look at this motherfucker. Yep. Yep. Someone tell this nappy about. time ass bitch to get up. Tell him to get his piggly ass up. Y'all go in here without me. Side of the truck. Looks like some mail though. Still with ball sacks. That's the, that's the moto. I told you, Christian. Christian could have swore I was capping. I did not know marijuana just grows out here wild in Iowa. Look at this. Just right off the bike trail right here, bro. We were just riding by and seeing something out here. The Iowa gas. Bro, look, two of these plants look good as fuck. Like if that bitch was budding, I would pick that. Yeah, he looks real nice. He looks nice. Right on the bike trail, bro. What the heck? I want to take me one of them, man. Just like, you know, give it some love. What's up, cows? How y'all doing? Oh, it's cold out here. A bit as warm as fuck out there in Florida. We woke up excited, knowing that at the end of today's ride, we'd be camping in a new state, Nebraska. Caleb was probably extra hype because he got a head start and left us at camp this morning. We had about 70 miles left in Iowa, which has been a pleasure to ride across. But I think Mother Nature is trying to keep us here for the headwinds have started raging.
Not only were we battling headwinds, but these bumpy roads were starting to get really annoying. We couldn't wait to make it to the next trail, the Cowboy Trail. There it should be smooth sailing on almost 200 miles of bike path, a perfect last stretch before rolling into the highly anticipated badlands of South Dakota. Oh, Norfolk Cowboy Trail, here we come. We won't be there tonight. Very flat over here. And look at this, a couple of little mini mountains. Look at that, there's some mini mountains, basically just hills. But right over here, straight flat land. Flat as a pancake. But in the distance, you see them hills again. It's just a wall of hills we just passed. We went through hills for a good little minute, now we're in the flats. Just crossed the Missouri River, now I'm in Nebraska. After riding into the 13th state of our tour and into the Great Plains, we met back up with Caleb and camped at another reliable Midwestern town park. The next morning I rode out before Caleb and Danny to avoid some of the harsher headwinds and temperatures coming later. And I eventually made it to what would be the last segment of the Great American Rail Trail for a while. The Cowboy Trail is stunning. It's beautiful, look at this. Like, I'm, I've only been on here a few miles. I don't think the pavement will last much longer. But the scenery so far is very nice. By the way, I'm solo right now, so the guys haven't even seen this. They're probably like 15 miles behind me. A lot of hills and headwinds to get here this morning, though. It took me 28 miles from camp to get to the trailhead of this trail. Out here, Norfolk, Nebraska. The Cowboy Trail was amazing, at least up until this part right here. After that, it kind of sucked, to be honest. The terrain was sandy for our 28 millimeter tires. Coupled with the stifling wind, made for some seriously slow movement. On top of that, the trail mainly ran parallel to the noisy road, which was a little faster to ride on, but had these aggravating thunderous cracks every 15 feet. The better parts of this trail were within the small towns it ran through, where the trail surface was a bit smoother. Out here on the cowboy trail, it is about 10 p.m. and I am not used to it still being kind of like light like this, like sunset. You know, in Florida, usually the latest the sun will be down by like 8.30 or something, I think. I did like 70 miles solo today. Now I'm back with the, with the dudes. Hopefully we get some good mileage tonight. It was going to be more of a challenge than we thought on this last stretch to the Wild West, the American frontier. Once we get to South Dakota, we will be on a whole nother level of out here. Stay tuned.